Hey everyone, uh, before the video fully begins, I just want to mention real quick that this entire video was inspired by a short conversation that I had with Ancient Electronics in which he pointed me in the right direction to get this card even working correctly. So huge shout out and thanks to Ancient Electronics. I will link his channel down below in the comment section. Hope you all enjoy this video and thank you for watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Empty One Saturday. I, I'm sorry, I was really hoping to have some videos uh, out between the upgrade video and any updates, but... This update, almost, uh, I'm almost too impatient to not try out. Um, so for context here, it, it's been about a week and a half since I recorded the upgrade video, and it's been, yeah, I don't know, about five or six days since it uh, up went up on YouTube. But anyway, uh, after I well, uploaded it, I was in the middle of recording some stuff for the Xbox and Xbox 360, uh, some videos for that. And I got a couple comments on this, especially from Ancient Electronics. Now, essentially, and I'll show the conversation here later, uh, if I remember. Well, he basically said that, no, you don't need an EGA monitor, or you shouldn't, to run EGA games. Because a lot of games during this time frame would run perfectly well in a low-res EGA mode, which is 320 by 200 by 16 color. Now, it just so happens that when you put this card into CGA mode... Which basically, change, which basically puts it reduced functionality, it essentially kind of sort of runs in that reduced mode, which is, according to IBM's documentation, known as mode one. Uh, there's some finer technicalities there. I'll, I'll get into that way later when I do um, dedicated videos on each of these cards. But this card should run um, a lot of the games that I have in 320 by 216 color low-res EGA mode, especially SimCity. Now, the reason why I guess I... Uh, so I falsely assumed something with this, and that was um, that, okay, so what, what would happen was, when I hooked this up to this monitor in CGA mode, it would try to start the game in 64 grayscale um, CGA mode, which would be basically CGA mode, but it'd be totally grayscale. Now, this is for high, high detail stuff, but no color, which was perfectly normal for it. But when I tried to load up with the Oak card here that I had, it would either load in VGA or if I switched it to CJ mode, then it would try to start it in CJ, which it can't. It tries to start it in, well, grayscale. And that's because you have to force the game into low-res EGA mode, apparently. And that's something that this card, I don't think, can support. At least not while it's hardware switched to CJ mode. Now, that might also be the issue with my ATI card. It's trying to force this monitor to run in high-res EGA mode, which is, you know, the mode that EJ monitors can use. So that might be why it was causing problems, and I, there's no way to force that card into low-res mode. So, I'm going to plug this card back in, and we're going to give it a shot with this monitor again by testing out uh, SimCity. Now, if this works, I'm going to leave this card in here. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to pop that O card back in here and just say, screw it, I'm not going to deal with it. But, um, yeah, let's just pop it and see what happens. Now, um, the thing is, um, the reason why I didn't think to double check this when I did the video originally was because when I was scrolling through a forum uh, on SimCity, well, DOS games in general, but SimCity was one of the main topics, it talked about SimCity auto-detecting the cards and applying the correct tile set that it would need for that game to run, like VJ, EGA, CGA, Grayscale, Hercules, whatever. But because this card's running in low-res EGA mode, it's trying to run it, um, it tries to run it in CGA mode because... It's detecting that card as a CGA card. It won't run it in EGA mode unless I do a command line switch here. So what I need to do is basically type in SimCity and then a couple key switches and it should force the game to start up in low res EGA mode, which should be, again, 320 by 200 by 16 color. Depending on my revision, apparently some later revision of SimCity had that mode pulled, especially on re-releases and stuff as time went on. But I think I have an early version enough here that it should work. So let's try it. CD games, um, CD Sim City. Okay, just to, just to show what I'm talking about, I'm going to start Sim City up normally with this card, and it should go to yeah, it should go to grayscale. So this is fine. This is you know high detail, 
and you can see it's high detail, but it's all grayscale. No, not hard. So yeah, nice small letters, clearly red, high detail. You really can't see too much, but it's all in grayscale, which is, you know, yeah, it, it's fine. And this would have been the normal way to play this game if you had a CJ monitor with an EJ card or vice versa, or same thing if you would have had a CJ card with CJ monitor, because then it'd be trying to run in this anyway. So now I want to see if that switch works. Okay, so now we're going to go back to SimCity. Now if I type in, I think it's backslash DE. Now this should run in low res EGA mode. And if it does, I'm going to keep this card in here. If it doesn't, I'm going to track down an older version. And until I do find out, I'm going to put in the oak card. So this, this video is either going to come out or it's not going to come out. Okay. Oh crap. Um, EGA not detected continuing. Okay. So it's, it's probably just going to run in grayscale anyway. Oh, well. Oh, oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's definitely chunkier than the grayscale version, but oh my God, that's cool. That's full 16 color EGA on a CJ monitor. Oh, that's awesome. Um, How's it look when I start a city? Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this, this I'm so happy because now I have a, I actually have an EGA machine now. And I can, oh. That is so good. I mean, okay. Yeah, these symbols are a little chunky. But for anyone who's played like the Super Nintendo version of SimCity, I don't think that's too far off from like the Super Nintendo version. In fact, I think it might be a little chunkier than the Super Nintendo version. But it doesn't matter because that is, oh, that's amazing. What happens if I terraform? Oh. Yes. All right. Um, actually, I want to try another game now. Um, I think if I remember correctly, it's either Pesky Robots or Planet X3 also supports this. So, Oops. I think anyway. Um, no, uh, it doesn't. We have CGA 320 by 204 color, CJ composite 160 by 216. I can't use that mode because that's EGA, doesn't have the composite connector. CJ high res mono 640 by 202 color. Uh, I guess I could try that. Tandy PC Jr. Uh, grayscale CGA. Plantronics 320 by 200 by 16. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that card is Plantronics capable. Or we have 320 by 204 grade number two. So, yeah, it's not it's not going to work. One thing I could really try is maybe... Uh, well, let's try Plantronics and see what happens. I don't think it'll work. Six. And PC speaker. Nope. It starts it up in CGA mode. Actually, the CGA mode looks a little weird, doesn't it? Why does it look like... A oh, no, no, no. That's, that's way wrong. Oh, you can't see it on camera. I don't have a way to capture it, but... It looks like snow. Everything is snow. Oh, there's like no like difference between. Oh, this is. Okay, yeah, no, so it's not Planet X three, but uh, it was one of these games though from David. Mer was, was it Rob Petsky Robots? Was it robot? Oh, okay. Uh, we have VGA 320 by 256. EGA 320 by 216 color. So this is low res EGA. I could swear Planet X3 had that mode too. Like, okay, someone who's ever actually played the game, or heck, I don't know if David Murray ever watches this uh, at some point in the future or gets shared to him or a clip or something. I don't, I don't care. Didn't Planet X3 have a low res EGA mode? Or was I thinking of him talking about pesky robots that had that mode? I don't know. Let's, let's just try it. Uh, sound device. We're going to go with PC speaker and music. Ask her a PC speaker. I guess I don't really don't care right now. Oh, 
that's cool. Yeah, that's that's 16 color EGA. God, that looks so good. And it runs pretty good too. Awesome. So what about um I think Prince of Persia was the other game that did that. Do I have Uh, should be, where is it? Prince. I uh, should just be Prince E, right? Nope. Okay, so that sucks. So yeah, Prince of Persia, um, I had to restart it because the uh, control, controller deleted it. So I had to reset because um, it kind of, it wouldn't let me escape the game. But anyway, so yeah, Prince of Persia, I think my version's too new. Like I said, a lot of the Bandwidth sites that have a lot of these old DOS games, a lot of them have their, some stuff removed to save space for downloading and stuff from the old internet days. And I, I guess nobody's bothered to put them back in, which kind of sucks because I would love to play some more games in EJ mode. But hey, I don't care because SimCity works. Uh, Pesky Robot works. Planet X3, I could swear had a lower as EGA mode, but uh, maybe again, maybe I'm thinking of uh, Pesky Robots. Um, so yeah, that card's going to stay in there. Uh, this is going to be my main EGA machine. I'm really happy and excited about that. That make, Oh, why didn't I try that before? But yeah, um, so yeah, just a real quick video on this. Uh, nothing too special, nothing too crazy, me checking stuff out. Um, so yeah, I'm actually really, really happy, really excited. Uh, it's going to be a while before my next update um, video, so yeah. Um, I'm going to have this out, hopefully, um, after 4th of July. I'm going to let stuff sit, you know, not be too amped up on posting stuff for the holidays. But yes, anyway, that being said, thank you everyone for watching this real quick video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, hit the like button, comment down below. If you know of any games that uses low-res EGA mode for this, um, put down in the comments and I'll see if I can find it so I can play it on my sweet, sweet EGA machine here. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.